and I'm going to be running CW. Today we're over here at the State Park and we're going to be testing the Poto Real Antenna and uh, seeing how it goes and just I found a T-Rex. <laughs> just look at this playground they have for the kids. That's so cool. I wish they had this stuff growing up. So let's go ahead and get set up and uh, take a look at the antenna. Here it is. This is the real potable antenna. This antenna goes from 10 meters to 40 meters. And all you got to do to adjust it is reel it in or pull it out. Man, it's that easy. Before we go ahead and get set up, let's go ahead and get some other stats out of the way. This does 100 watts on single sideband, 50 watts on CW, and 35 watts on digital modes. And that does include your FT8s out there. I think this should be easy to do. The other piece of equipment I brought today is the Rig Stick Expert. This Rig Stick Expert, you go ahead and pick up at Giga Parts and get 5% off at checkout if you use Tank at checkout. You get 5% off and it helps support me, Tank Radio. Now, also, this other small disclaimer, the real antenna that I got was given to me, uh, was it was a purchase, and it wasn't by the vendor. A friend gave it to me. So this is going to be my true opinions, undulterated, untouched, my thoughts. So I'm going to be using the POTA 20 mask today, and this is how it came to me. But there's already a plastic S clip on here, S carabiner, and I'm going to use that disc clip to the top of the um, antenna mask. There we go. And the uh, heavy part is at the bottom, and the antenna loops at the top, so we don't have to worry about supporting this. This does come with a wire loop here to secure to something else. I'm not going to use it today, but that is nice to have. So let's go ahead and get it up. I'm just pulling some out here so I can go ahead and pull it, push it all the way up and not have to worry about it, you know, pulling from the weight of the antenna base. There we go. And put it down right there. All right. There she is. I just ran it a random distance here and I'm turning on the stick expert and it's set to 20 and I'm showing a seven, seven to one right now. And that's really high. So I'll probably need to run it longer, but out of curiosity, I'm going to go ahead and turn it down to 10 meters because I think I'm going to start on 10 meters today. Ooh! On 10 meters, it is a three to one with a dip just on this side. So for 10 meters, I think I'm going to shorten it up just a little bit and rerun it. After making it a little bit longer, now we're at a 1.4, kind of at the bottom end of the spectrum of 10 meters. However, I'm going to let that run. I probably am going to lean it in the tree over here. So let me go ahead and get that set up. All right, I went ahead and moved it. Now I got in the lean in the tree mic method and it puts the uh, cord closer to the table and I went ahead again one more time. Let's rerun it. And I am getting a, a 1.69. Perfect for the tuner. It is flat across the board. And I am going to go ahead and get the radio set up. And what is this at the bottom of my bag? It is the US band plan. The tank pad is the mouse pad with all your US band plans on it. Tank radio. And uh, this is made by Corky QRP. Thanks, Corky. Links are in the description. It's probably popping up also. This is awesome. I really do love this. I love I love it. I love it. Like uh, any good ham, I brought the solar out also to set up, but um, it's so overcast, I don't think it's going to matter. I'm going to go ahead and power up the Yezu FTDX10, and I'm going to be running single sideband at 100 watts to really put this antenna through its paces. And and thanks to the tank pad, I'm able to figure out what bands with that on and my um, privileges. Seeky Poda, Seeky Poda, Seeky Poda, Seeky Poda, Seeky Poda, Seeky Poda, Kilo Golf 5, Alpha Hotel, Juliet, Colin CQ. Nothing heard on 10 meters. I really wanted to play on 10 meters. Um, it seems to pretty much be non-existent there. Yeah, after poking the website a bit here, we're going to go ahead and move to 20 meters. The great thing about this antenna, though, um, let's just go ahead and move. We're just going to make it longer. And where's my antenna tuner? Down there. <laughs> Pick up and just pull out. Now, if you do own this, I recommend, you know, putting tape little marks on there and tell it what um, bands it is at what point so you don't have to tune it as much. You, you will probably need to tune it at particular places because the ground and everything is different and it gives you a different reflection. However, right now, I'm getting a flat three. So we're gonna make it maybe a little longer. Still 2.7. Need to go a little longer. But 
it is, we see the falling down slope and I'll probably have to move to the other table. <laughs> All right, again, about the third time adjusting it. We are at uh, bouncing right off the one mark. We're at a 1.1 at 14.13. Yes, and this beautiful thing about being an NFED half wave, it's out there and it's happy. Um, and you don't have to use a tuner if you get the antenna tuner down to a one. All right, let's try this one more time. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? Kilo Golf 5, Alpha Hotel Juliet. Kilo Delta 8, Victor Radio X-Ray. Uh, Roger, Frank. Kilo Delta 8, Victor Radio X-Ray. I got you a good loud 5.9. We had a blast, man. We had a blast. I'm actually recording a, the antenna, real antenna right now. How is my signal coming across on your end? Uh, you're about a 5.7, five, 5.7. Seven, five, seven. There's a little of static, uh, but uh, you're certainly copyable from me. Awesome, man. Well, thank you very much. I think you made the video. <laughs> have a good day. Hey, Frank, have a great day. Thank you for being at the park and have fun, okay? I am, I am. Thanks for being out there and uh, have a great Friday. Kilo 7, India, Oscar Lima. Kilo 7, India, Oscar Lima. I got you 5-5. Five, five. Roger, have you 5-5 five, five into North Texas. Roger the 5-5 five, five into North Texas, man. You must be around the uh, Dallas area. That's correct. Cool, man. Got you on some ground wave. Uh, great signal. Thank you very much. 7 threes, have fun. 7-3. Also, caps. Always put your caps back on when you're not using them or you'll lose them. All right, that was a lot of fun. Uh, when the contacts started coming in, I got a good old pile up going on this uh, real Lampota antenna here. Um, it was working great and beautiful. The lines behind the radio are not hot, so they transmitted well, no issues there. And let me go ahead and get it packed up and um, I'll give you my final thoughts. Well, first, cleaning this up and winding it is a breeze. Just wind it up. You don't have to worry about end and end and on winders or anything. It's just keep on cranking. I did like this antenna. It was easy to set up. Um, I did have to tune it, but um, if this was my permanent antenna, I would probably mark it on the bands where I need to run it out to, to get the good one-to-one -one match frequencies. I'll spend some time doing that. And um, then I wouldn't have to fiddle with it that much anymore. Um, this will be a great alternative to a linked and fed half wave. So when you want to change the bands, I just roll this out more to the next tape position and I should be pretty much good there unlike the linked antenna I will have to pull the antenna down link the section and put it back up so this will probably be much more convenient than that um, overall I like this antenna the one drawback I kind of have with it right now is it's a little large with this bulkiness on top and other than that this is this the blue part is very slim package and I do like that um, I wonder if you can get this inside probably not because you got the uh, winder inside here but overall great alternative and fed half wave to a linked and fed half wave antenna and it is nice compact and look at that I've been talking the whole time and now it's all wound up I like it I like it I like it I'll give this a shot if you're interested on this google it if I could find where to buy it, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below and probably pop up here. Y'all, thank for watching. Thank you to all my supporters. I can't make this channel without you. There's a link in the description below to support me on Patreon and also YouTube's uh, memberships. Thank you all, and as always, go forth and conquer. Great, now the sun's out. Oh well. And here it is. This is the real Poda. Uh, there we go. One more time. Um, after I get the coax off.